In this video, I will explain you the basics of Java annotations. And if you look in the description below the video, you will see a link to a textual version of this tutorial, plus you will see links to um, later videos in this Java annotations video series. Java annotations are a special type of comments in your code, which can embed instructions for the Java compiler, embed instructions for source code processing tools, for instance, tools that scan through your source code and generate documentation from it, or embed metadata, which can be read at runtime by your Java application or third-party tools like Spring or the Jackson Object Mapper or other similar tools. When using a Java annotation, you first write the at sign, as you can see here, and then followed by the name of the annotation. And as you can see in this simple example, it is possible to locate an annotation in front of a class declaration, in front of a member variable declaration, in front of a constructor declaration, in front of a method declaration, in front of a parameter declaration, in front of a local variable declaration, in front of a static method declaration, and in front of a static method parameter declaration as well. And this annotation here, my annotation, is an annotation that I have created for this example. Exactly where a given annotation is used depends on the specific annotation. In this example, I use the same annotation everywhere, but most annotations are designed only to be used in one of these situations, for instance, only for the class or only for member variables, etc. And you will have to look at the, each specific annotation to see where it is designed to be used. Java comes with a set of built-in annotations which you can use in your code. And these annotations are giving instructions to the Java compiler. The first annotation the override annotation is giving instructions to the Java compiler about methods in a subclass which are supposed to override methods in a superclass. If you look at this superclass example here, it has a single method called print. And as you can see, I have a subclass as well, which extends the superclass and overrides the print method. As you can see in this example, I have inserted the annotation add override here and that is telling the java compiler that this method here is supposed to override the print method in the superclass in case the method in the superclass changes name uh, for instance to print line instead you can see that the java compiler is now giving me an error it says that the method does not override any method from its superclass. And now as a developer, I don't all of a sudden have an error in my program. Instead, I get a warning here and when I'm compiling my program. I get a compiler error and then I can go in and, and fix it. I can change the name here to print line. And as you can see now, the compiler error disappears because now this subclass is again overriding a method in the superclass. The deprecated annotation is used to mark a method as deprecated. And this gives a signal to developers using that method that they should no longer use that method. They should look for whatever method has replaced this method instead. And uh, as you can see in this example, I have a class called class with deprecated method. And I create an instance of it. And then I call a method called do it. And um, see what happens here when I place the deprecated annotation in front of the do it method. You can see over here now that IntelliJ is striking the method name through. And that is a signal to me as a developer that I should probably find another method to use instead of do it. It is still possible to call do it because deprecated does not mean that it doesn't work. It just means it's just a, a warning. It's a signal to me as a developer, but it does not actually prevent me from compiling my code. That covers the basics of Java annotations. 
and uh, for a textual version of this tutorial, see the description below the video and you will find a link to the textual version of this tutorial, plus you will find a link to the next video in this Java annotation video series. And the next video is about how you can create your own Java annotations and use in your Java applications.